I'm not sure what to think about this. Like, um, I know, like, um, I watch um, Pop Up Girls when I was growing up. Uh, you know, every, it's everyone's childhood um, cartoon. It's not just for girls, so if you say that. It's for the entire family, it's, uh, and it's awesome. But I'm talking about the anatomy of merging ponies with the Pop Up. Like, um, I do know they have no hands, okay? Ponies don't have any hands, they have hooves. So, what do you mean by this? Are we just gonna have a perfectly normal ponies living in a human society and that's it? Or are we gonna have ponies with disembodied hooves? Like, I don't know. That's what I was thinking when I'm going in here. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna have to go find out myself with you guys in the future while I'm being in the past all alone. But I really want to know which villains are going to show up here in the villain scene. I'm going to assume a Chris is going to be there, maybe T-Rex, maybe. Um, are we going to get, uh, you know, um, either Adagio or Starlight? Glimmer? I'm cool with that. Let's do this. Um, seven, six. Sugar. And Lion. Blood for us, damn Dem son. Nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect girls cartoon. Oh, oh yeah. Accidentally was that? Was that? Yep. Awesomeness. Okay, sure. Awesomeness. That's awesome. I mean, that's okay. Thus, friendship is magic. What the fuck are those eggs? <laughs> oh yeah, I just don't just do. Voices and animation. They dedicate their lives to change cartoons. And What's with the sound effect in the background? What's wrong with the sound effect in the background? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Let me just go back. I need to hear everything. The What's wrong with the sound effect? Was born. What's wrong with the sound effect? Characters, plots, voices, and animation. They dedicate their lives to change cartoons what and the, the internet fuck? forever. What's with the sound effect? Okay, now it's okay. Okay, we got bronies. We got. Bronies, we got bronies, we got the military. <laughs> what? I'm good. What? Who are those people? No way, that's fortune. Wait, what? La, la, la. I just realized what's happening here. Yeah, friendship is magic, motherfuckers. Hey, automation by this guy. Let me just show their name. There, go, Humpty Dumpty. Sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty got wrecked and all that beautiful shit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move closely because um, everyone knows my, you know, um, joking around the brony stuff. But just let you guys know, I am nothing against haters. Unless you have no reason to hate it properly, then maybe I will disagree with you. But still, okay, so let me look at this properly. We have um, the 4chan people because, you know, they have the 4chan over there. I have no idea who these other people are. Like, I'm trying to figure out who they represent. I guess I'm going to assume these are people who, are, who doesn't really understand friendship is magic. Um, so, yeah. Uh, most of these people are... I guess this... This person, yeah, he has money on his hands. So he represents a um, corporation who says girls shows does not sell. So screw them. Also, I can see the furries at the background who says that uh, ponies, uh, it doesn't, I don't know, that's, they look too silly. Not, you know, no, no. And then we have, okay, so we have a brony over there. Like, I know some people, I know people say that I have to say pick a sister if it's a female. But, um, even they, um, tell themselves that they want brony to be a, um, genderless, um, term. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with brony instead. Uh, we have, obviously, I guess these are, uh, the, I guess they represent the people who say that, Urgh, Manly, screw this pony shit you people are trying to do. And that's a baby over there. I don't really know who they represent, but sure. 
And we have this shit over there, and we have this over there. Oh, wait, seriously. Look at that uh, person in the, on the right over there. Clearly, there's a brony over there, part of the... I guess it's just... I guess it's that, as simple as that. I guess... Because um, this is... You know, you know, everyone knows the stereotype that... Um, Everyone knows the brony stereotype, right? So, I guess that's what they're trying to show here. Just to let everyone know, I'm not trying to offend anyone. This is just for fun, okay, guys? I'm not trying to offend anyone. Don't be offended by what the video is trying to represent. It's just, you know, just for, just for fun. I really, uh, I really want to know why God damn screw it. So obviously we have Fortran here being uh, so yeah ponies are spreading happiness and we have I guess this um I guess this guy represents you know um people in social media who doesn't understand or you know the teenage generation who don't understand the pony stuff uh okay so okay so okay so the bro uh, so the brony in this video wasn't actually you know um Representing anything um, in the end the brony in this video is just you know, just just glad that he's just there uh, You know just meeting up with a pony. So yeah, that's it. There's nothing going on over there. So okay Okay, and obviously we have the little girl, the little girl over there who is a fan of the show But yeah, um at least she gets to enjoy the toys that was given to her without any judgment saying This show doesn't sell so screw you people. So yeah, um, yeah Okay then, so interesting take on the villain side, or I don't even know what I don't should I even say villain side because most of the people in that or uh, in those scene that wasn't even any villain. Like it's a mix. There were you know people who don't believe in the show, and then those people who understands the show. So obviously, um, the reason why I said villain side is because in the original intro version. We have the power of girls, and then we have the villain scene, and that's what I was assuming at first. So I was trying, so that's why I was trying to figure out everything with the villain mentality. But then when I look closely, not not everyone is a villain in this scene. Not everyone. Is that little girl playing with toys? Or is she a villain? No, she's playing with a she's, play, she's already playing with a pony. So no. No, like it now. It so yeah. Um, so what the hell does that scene represent? Like, I guess it just represents. Eh, I'm trying to figure out. Like, it just represents people who are interacting with the ponies. That's it. No villain side. Because not everyone in that scene was a villain. So yeah. Um, I'm just gonna assume it's just people interacting with the ponies. That's it. No villains. Okay, guys. Okay, I guess I got that right. Hopefully, I got that right. But yes, I don't know. I don't know what to think about the anatomy. Like, I'm trying to figure out if they have hooves or are they missing hooves. I know in the show, you can't even tell if they have got them hooves. Usually, um, Big Mac, you can see he has a goddamn hoof. It's very visible. I don't know whether to think, are they, do they have hooves? Are they missing hooves? I can't tell. I don't know. They don't have noses though. Okay, that's a confirmation that they may not have hooves in this. Uh, how does that work? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, then, well, anyways, um, thanks for watching, I guess. And until then, uh,